One of the things that can help you succeed with podcasting is to stick to basics. Just do all of the basics right and you will well be on your way to succeed with your podcast. If you are thinking of starting your own podcast or want to take your existing podcast to the next level, then this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 25 simple and practical podcasting tips that you can go out there and implement straight away in your podcast and succeed in podcasting. And the best part, I'm going to do it in 10 minutes so that you don't have to sit through a lengthy lecture to know all of these simple tips. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to TPU TV. This is Dilip. If you don't know me, I'm a podcaster, blogger and affiliate marketer and I share a lot of practical and implementable podcasting tips so that you can go out there and get started with your own podcast in the simplest way possible. And if you're new to podcasting and are looking to get started with your own podcast, then you might want to join my free 10 day e-course on how to start a podcast. It will teach you everything that you need to get started with your own podcast. You can visit the podcastinguniversity.com forward slash free dash guide to join the free course. You will also be able to find a link in the description box below. So go ahead and sign up for this free e-course today itself. Now, podcasting, it's not difficult. It's not difficult if you do the basics right. But the problem is that most people get started with podcasting thinking that podcasting is extremely easy and that they're going to succeed with their podcast in about 10 to 15 episodes. But that's not how it works. Podcasting is a marathon. It's a long journey. And if you are not doing the basics right, then it is going to be a very tough journey for you. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you 25 simple and practical podcasting tips in less than 10 minutes so that you can go out there, implement them, and succeed with your own podcast. So let's get started. Number one, define your podcast's purpose and audience. It is very important that you have a purpose for why you are podcasting, why you are running that particular podcast. It is also important that you know who your audience is because these two things are the absolute basics which will help you succeed with your podcasting. Your purpose is that North Star which will push you to keep doing it week after week when you find it tough going. Number two, Choose a topic that you're passionate about and that resonates with your audience. Understand that your topic has to be something that your audience can engage with, that resonates with them and something that you too are passionate about. Number three, invest in some good quality recording equipment. Like for example, a good microphone. I would recommend a Samsung Q2U, which is one of the best podcast microphones out there. And if you have the budget, go ahead and invest in a good headphone a good boom arm and a pop filter. Number four, find a quiet and comfortable space to record your podcast. Now, it is not easy for everybody to go to a studio and record their episodes. Most podcasters record their podcast episodes from the corner of their bedroom or their drawing room. So find a good and comfortable and silent place or a silent time of the day to record your podcast. Number five, create a clear and catchy podcast title that will attract your target audience and that talks to the kind of content that you're going to generate in your podcast. Ensure that this name is unique and memorable and that your audience can remember it. Number six, develop a consistent format for your podcast. Like for example, a regular length, maybe a common introduction, segments or an outro. But whatever it is that you do, create a consistent format for your episode. Number seven, script your episodes in advance to help you stay on track and ensure that your content is engaging and informative. Impromptu is good, but it is not something that everybody can do. So I would recommend scripting your podcast episodes well in advance. Number eight, practice your delivery to build confidence and improve your presentation skills. When you keep practicing, you become even more confident and that shows in your voice quality. Your audience will be able to recognize it. So ensure that you are practicing to build your own confidence. Number nine, edit your recordings carefully to remove any mistakes or pauses or maybe background noise. But at the same time, don't spend too much time on editing out every little filler words that you find in your podcast. Streamline your editing process so that you're able to get it done as fast as possible. Number 10, 
use music and sound effects to enhance the quality of your podcast or to create a professional sound for your podcast it improves the production quality and helps in engaging your listeners number 11 create eye catching artwork for your podcast and artwork is something that your podcast listeners will see the first and if it is an eye catching artwork there is a possibility of them listening to the episode and engaging with your podcast number 12 publish your podcast on a reliable podcast hosting platform like buzzsprout acast lipsin or maybe blueberry don't compromise on that number 13 submit your podcast to all possible podcast directories including apple podcast google podcast stitcher tune in radio spotify wherever you can submit your podcast whatever directories you can submit your podcast go ahead and submit it that helps in circulation and helps in building your audience number 14 create a website for your podcast and ensure that your writing show notes or putting transcripts out there so that it can provide additional information about your episodes to your listeners number 15 promote your podcast use social media to promote your podcast and engage with your audience social media is possibly the best way to promote your podcast so don't compromise on the time that you're going to spend on promoting your podcast and be on social media and engage with your audience number 16 consistency is a key consistency is important and sticking to a regular schedule will help program your audience to keep coming back on that specific day and time to listen to your podcast so ensure that you're consistently publishing your podcast on a regular publishing schedule and when you're picking a schedule ensure that it is done after looking at all of your available resources including the time that you can put on your podcast number 17 guest interviews can add variety and interest to your podcast so you might want to consider adding interviews to your format because most podcasts use interviews primarily because of two things it provides a lot of value to their audience and at the same time also helps build audience number 18 use analytics to track your podcast performance and improvements but at the same time don't be too hung up on the analytics and get frustrated use the data only so that you are able to improve your podcast and better your performance number 19 seek feedback from your listeners to make your podcast even better you might want to build a community you can use any platform like whatsapp telegram or whatever platforms are available and build a community and seek feedback from your listeners it will give you ideas for newer content and at the same time will help you improve your podcast number 20 monetization is important so do put together a good monetization strategy for your podcast if you're somebody who thinks that monetization is not important then you will realize that after about 40 to 50 episodes the demotivation will start to kick in when you're not getting a return from your podcast number 21 don't be afraid to experiment don't be afraid to experiment with different episode formats different styles so keep experimenting to find what works and what resonates with your audience number 22 keep your episodes concise and engaging to retain your audience's retention just because some podcaster is doing a podcast that is an hour long you need not follow that format your objective is to pass on the required information to your audience and if you can do it in 10 minutes so be it so don't be too hung up on the podcast length ensure that you're providing information in a very concise format and in an understandable manner number 24 consider collaborating with other podcasters or guest experts who are coming on your show to bring in new perspectives and ideas to your podcast you can also collaborate with other social media influencers as well who can maybe help you bring newer perspective and ideas for your podcast number 24 attend podcasting events or join podcasting communities so that you are able to network with other podcasters and you are able to learn new tips and are able to improve your podcast by learning some of these newer tips tricks and strategies and number 5 final one stay authentic with your podcast and have fun while you are podcasting if you consider podcasting as a chore then you are going to be frustrated pretty soon and you're going to quit podcasting so have fun with your show have fun with your podcast and be authentic your authenticity is going to be the usp for your podcast so that's 25 tips in less than 10 minutes i hope you enjoyed each of these tips these are some of the basics in podcasting and if you follow these basics right then there is no reason why you will not succeed with podcasting and if you're new to podcasting and want to get started with your own podcast then you might want to join my 10 day free course where i teach you how to get started with your own podcast you'll be able to find this course on 
thepodcastinguniversity.com forward slash free dash guide. You'll also be able to find a link to this course in the description below. Go ahead, click the link and join the free course today itself. If you liked what I shared today, then please do give a thumbs up to this video so that others are able to find this video and get value from it. And if you're new to this channel, then you might want to subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of the latest videos that I release. That is all that I have for today's video. I'll be back again the next week with another interesting information around podcasting. Until then, keep watching TPU TV. This is goodbye from Dilip.